Hey guys, uh, here's a little walkthrough for the next section, 10.5, where you have angles with circles, but in kind of weird places. So let's start by reviewing one we know for sure. All right, we definitely know this relationship here, where you have an inscribed angle, okay? The arc that it hits is right here, and if the arc is, say, 80 degrees, we should know that that inscribed angle has to be half of the 80 degrees. All right, that one we've learned already. Uh, then the next one is really not much different than this to start. We can have the angle on the circle here, right? The vertex on the circle, but we could also have it where the vertex is still on the circle, but one of the sides is actually tangent to the circle. Okay, so here we have two chords making the angle where the vertex is on the circle. Here we have a tangent and a secant creating the angle, or it could have been a chord, it, that part doesn't really matter, um, or part of the secant. Um, making the angle here where, again, the vertex is on the circle. So if this arc here, you know, here's a different color. If this arc here is, say, 80 degrees, well, the angle where the vertex is on the circle, again, is half, 40 degrees. And that should kind of make sense because if this arc is 80, how much arc is left over for the rest of the circle, right? If, if the, the red one there is 80, how much is left over for the green one? Well, that would be you know 360 total, so 280 degrees. Well, if I extend this tangent to make that full tangent line, and that angle there is 40 degrees, what's the angle right next to it have to be? If this is 40, how much is left over for this one if this is a straight line? Well, if that's 40, that's gotta be 140, right? Because that's 180 degrees. That's exactly half of the full 360 total. So 80 became 40 here. 280 became 140 there, that's 180 for the straight line, and that's 360 for the full circle. So this is basically, this is what I would like to call uh, where the vertex is on the circle, okay? Vertex on circle. And both relationships are the same. The measure of the angle is exactly half the measure of the arc. So if you want to give it, you know, letters, let's say A, B, C, the measure of angle A would be exactly one half the measure of arc BC. And that pretty much will get you through any problem where uh, the vertex is on the circle. Okay? Um, if you have any questions on that, definitely let me know, and I'll make another video for the other scenario.